Food and Music Festival is taking place on August 26th. That's right. So we are, uh, we are joined by, of course, the event producer. Please, Soraya Brewer. There we go. Soraya Brewer. She right. said Soraya way beforehand, <laughs> and here's the problem. I knew it was Soraya, and yet and still, I was like this. <laughs> I'm going to get it wrong, so we're going to make sure to say your name correctly. Soraya Brewer. Thanks. Thank you for joining us. Thank you guys for having me. So tell me a little bit about what the festival is all about. So Crave is primarily a food festival that's kind of at the, at the center of it, but it is a celebration of all sorts of things. It's a family-friendly event. We've got two full days of live music, so it's actually August 26th and 27th. Um, we've got a classic car show. We've got a ton of kids' activities. We've got scavenger hunt for the kids. We've got bouncies, inflatables, face painting, and um, the Living Arts and Science Center is bringing their mobile planetarium. So we've got some kind of fun new things happening this year for our 10th anniversary. But it's just a big party out at Masterson Station. So how do you find new ways to make it bigger and better every year? Um, we just we like to partner with lots of different organizations, so lots of nonprofit organizations. There's lots of folks who are doing really great, fun stuff in the community. So we bring them in and kind of let them do their own thing. This this year we are having um, the Tinderbox Sideshow. They do a little circus sideshow act. No. So they are setting up their little thing, um, which is going to be really fun and different. Um, you know, the classic car show, these are folks who do this all over the state, and so we're kind of letting them step in and do their thing, and they just bring a lot of um, a lot of great ambiance to our festival, so. This yeah. like a good time. We, we, we mentioned some music in there, too. Well, what can we expect as far as that's concerned? We try to represent all kinds of different genres, so we have um, Jocelyn and the Sweet Compression. They're one of the best Lexington bands. They're really fun, kind of R&B, soul music. They are headlining on Saturday night. We've got bluegrass music, we've got funk music, we've got rock and roll, we've got a Latin rock band, the Big Moroccos are closing us out on Sunday. Um, wow. Really all over the place, just about anything you can want. So Hip if you pop, crave it, yeah. I know, right? Get it, <laughs> exactly. Get it That's right. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more, how can we find information, do we need tickets? Yeah, so we rec uh, recommend that folks get tickets in advance. CraveLexington.com has pretty much everything that you need, all of the schedules, a link to buy tickets. Um, folks, once they're in there, you basically you'll buy digital Crave Bucks, which is a QR code that you kind of load up on your phone, and you can scan that at all of the food vendors. So you just kind of use your phone to scan oh, at convenient. all of the food vendors, try to kind of keep everything streamlined once you're in the Cashless, festival. Essentially, yeah. Yes, exactly. So we really recommend that folks, if they're planning on coming, that um, they come on and set that up in advance so you don't have to sit there and deal with your phone. It only takes a minute, but it's a little bit easier to do that kind of before you come out to the festival and you can go straight to the vendors once you get in there. So well, Absolutely. Now, again, you're talking about all kinds of uh, different foods. What, 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 so what much different have? food. <laughs> so we've got Cuban food, we've got Colombian food, we've got Thai food. This is um, primarily folks from Lexington, but from some of the surrounding counties as well as we've kind of gotten bigger. We've had lots of folks um, come from the surrounding counties. We've got food trucks, we've got restaurants, we've got caterers, there's you know burgers and barbecue but then oh. there's always some really like interesting things and we recommend that or we always have our folks do kind of smaller portions so that you can try lots of stuff so ideally you can roll in there and try you know from five or six different food vendors and just really fill up for the day. Perfect. Soraya, give us the uh, address one more time that we need to go to to find more information. That's CraveLexington.com. And also, if you see any Chevy Chaser or Southsider magazines mm -hmm. around town this month, there's all the info on the inside of those magazines. We've kind of got a spread in there as well. well I'm looking at oh. some of the pictures. Oh, oh, yeah. it looks good, right? Oh. I get so hungry every year when we lay this out. Oh, looks great. Thank you so Lovely. much for being here. And Thank good luck. And happy for the 10th. This is the 10th one, right? This is one, our 10th right? one. Excellent. Yeah, we're excited. Big deal.